okay so we need to talk about this uh, hopefully you are coming into this video from this playlist okay this video that i'm going to go into is a bit more deep than the other videos i have done for the new laptop setup now i know i have said update drivers do this do that and basically bios update is, a, is an important thing and did i ever tell you to update your graphics driver if i did i don't think i did but i always said okay maybe i said in the first video it doesn't matter point being point being oh yeah it's a part of to do i was i was going to actually make a video on updating your graphics driver but i haven't because in the past few months i have been in talk with a lot of people who got their new laptop and who were having a lot of issues on their systems after a graphics driver update okay so i'm just going to touch a bit um what those drivers are so uh, the drivers that your company ships so whatever the brand of your laptop is let's say you have an acer laptop you will just search acer laptop drivers okay most likely it will open up the official website we'll put in your serial id here and you will get a, a list of driver for your system currently i am on a lenovo so if i just search lenovo update sometimes they will ask you to use a tool okay so if you use this tool you don't have to find look through your uh, drivers but in this case i already know my serial number so i just put it in okay and if you go into the driver update instead of going to automatic update you can go into manual update and you can go into graphics processor drivers not only graphics there are a lot of drivers here now these drivers are being given by the laptop manufacturer themselves they took the uh, part driver so let's say if it was nvidia gpu they took the driver from nvidia they did a bit of bit of their own tinkering on it to make sure it runs properly and then they released it right now this is the end of 2023 and you can see the driver is as old as September. And this is the reason why most people move away from OEM drivers. So these are called the OEM drivers. They move away from such drivers and they move into newer drivers. And because many games, let's see, if you remember the Spider-Man new Spider-Man game that came out, it asked for a driver update, otherwise it won't run properly. Okay, in that case, what do people do? In that case, if you are, you know, if your hands are tied. And you have to play that game you have to try that feature uh, people usually go to those websites and update now in this video we are going to talk about uh, i guess i have been already been talking about having less trouble in life with the cost of not having an update in my last in my old acer laptop uh, i stayed on windows 10 I clean installed Windows 10 after it automatically updated to Windows. I clean installed Windows 10. I installed the OEM drivers, not the latest drivers. I installed the OEM drivers. Okay, so they were like two, three, four years old. And I disabled Windows update. Okay, how do you disable update Windows update? So this is the Windows update mini tool. It is built by a user name whose name was who goes by stupid user who is based in Russia and he has made this tool along with uh, and these are all on the russian forum as you can see there are well, just before this video i was going through all this and i remembered i have used a lot of them i have used a shampoo anti step for windows 10 i have used o and o shut up 10 okay i have used 10 apps manager which removes the stupid apps from windows I have used a lot of these. I have used a lot of these application, and here is also one application 
Windows Update Mini Tool. It doesn't block Windows Update, but actually it has a lot of options how you want to update Windows. Okay. Now, what you can do, however, is what you can do, however, is keep it disabled. It's a small tool. You don't even have to install it. Small tool. You download it, keep it at place, and you just make it disabled. What will this do? And along with this, you also have to do one more thing. You have to also go to Windows Update and try to, you know, these options will keep changing. Okay, I cannot make one with when do this. And these options will keep changing. But go ahead and pause the updates whatever thing you see that you have the power to do because these things keep changing you stop the update once you have installed the original drivers you stop the update now you will ask me why am i stopping windows updates when the question started with drivers uh, the reason for that is windows update now includes drivers i have had so much trouble on especially on old machines where what they would used to do i would install a proper driver that would be working that that would have been old driver very old driver but windows would automatically install a newer driver and everything would stop working okay this happened many times on my old hp machine so yeah that's the thing that's the thing i wanted to talk to you about now before you start jumping and trying all these application be warned be warned you can you must be ready to completely reset your system that's all <laughs> once you get into these you must be ready to get into the uh, be ready to complete install your windows because i have also broken my windows system quite a few times i think with this spying or something because there was some app like let's say the Lenovo Vantage app. Now, if I uninstall the Windows Store app, I can't update the Windows Vantage app. Anyways, yeah, so that's the thing. Uh, the point being, instead of going on NVIDIA's website or instead of going on AMD's website for the newest graphics driver, okay, if they are causing you problem, you go to your own laptop manufacturer's website. And you go ahead and install the graphics drivers from there. Why do I keep bringing up graphics driver? Because those are the drivers that will cause a lot of failure. Okay, that's the thing. Those are the drivers that will cause most problems. Other drivers might cause problem, might not cause problem. It might even not be noticeable. But these drivers, NVIDIA, uh, the graphics drivers, these cause a lot of problems so if you are facing any kind of graphics drivers or any such issues this is what i mean when i say roll back your drivers to your oem drivers so yeah that is the point of this video if you're having any problems with your any driver it doesn't have to be graphics driver if you're having some trouble with audio if you're having trouble with uh, ignore bios for this okay do not ever try to do bios rollback bios is separate from the installed operating system never do that if you are having trouble with your bluetooth your wi-fi keeps turning off and on here is the wi-fi drivers and if you see something like this like this patch if you see there is a patch for a small vantage which has come in this has come for almost all devices right at the time of making this video and this has solved the biggest problem of some crashes with drivers anyways Point being, point being, this page. So whatever your laptop is, uh, if you go to its page and you find, try to find the drivers there. These these drivers are the ones that should make your system work at least to its potential without much issues. As soon as you install any of these drivers, as soon as you try to install any of these drivers windows if it gets an internet connection it will try to supersede it install its own drivers over it thereby removing all your work 
so before you install these drivers let's say you are on a latest driver and you are going to install an older driver first you make sure you download the blue umt and you make this disabled you will get no notification and just close it and apart from that also go into windows settings okay and windows update and try to pause everything whatever you have in power this menu keeps changing basic thing is you have to pause it now uh, and this is a small thing not really about this video but i know some of you will have this problem most of these drivers if you try to you know click on them and try to install them they might not even install okay so most of these uh, programs are just extracted they just extract to a particular location so instead of doing an install i think it's better to do extract only and you extract the drivers and it will show you the location where it is going to extract to in my case it was c drivers here is my original nvidia drivers and here is a batch file and it says what what it is going to do it will go into this folder it will go into dc it will run the nv setup and it will go into windows 32 ux nv setup so it will go into this folder it will run this file and it will go into this file it will run this file why am i showing you this because even after you have run this batch file if you double click on this okay you run it even you run this you see nothing is happening at least in the foreground you can't see anything happening and this is a very common issue so try to do what try to find the locations where the drivers are so if you just click on install.bot bat and you open it with uh, open with any sort of notepad program if you just click right click you will see the locations where the files are so it is the folder name 2031.5 i don't know what's the folder name so it's dc and win 32 so those two fold files you need so under dc you can see there is the nv graphics driver setup okay you run this you will be able to install the older version of 15.97 in my case which came with the laptop and you can also go into this and you can install this setup also anyways i have already done this right now i'm not going to do it this again uh, uh, one more thing if you go into amd and the same similar thing you will see that this has in the drivers display at wt in a file so yeah the inf files these are also installable how do you install an inf file okay how do you install an inf file you know if you just run the batch that will be fine but let me just sh show you how do you install if you see any inf file okay oh yeah before you can do that you have to do this type show hidden files in the set folder okay this option will come up and here is the option which also says so file extension you have to enable so file extension can you so file extension okay yeah here is the so file extension in explorer you enable this okay on older systems uh so uh, you will be able to find it on windows 10 there's a separate thing that comes there if you just type it there it will come so if you find let's say where is an ini file it's in packages driver display wta packages driver display wt and enf so if you see the inf file you will if you right click right click on it you will see the option to install and that is basically a driver install the software you see is on top of that anyways so yeah uh, for uh, in case of nvidia i had to go inside i had to install the exe from there and in case of amd i have to also do this okay after i have done that and having no more issues so yeah this i was doing this for quite some time on my own system i was doing it i just was you know I, I was thinking should i ask you guys to do this or not do the same thing or not okay and i kept thinking uh, that's the real thing is that that i kept thinking that windows or uh, mamd or intel whichever the um, except the laptop manufacturer whichever the driver companies are you know, who is providing you the drivers i thought that they will in update try to fix your drivers and all i mean they will keep your system up to date so that you don't have a lot of trouble but seeing all that drama that has happened over the few next few months where people just message me and say 
that brother i have updated all my drivers and i'm still having issues so that's the one line that i have been hearing from people that i have updated all my drivers and i am still having issues with some driver issues mainly graphics resources so yeah that is what i wanted to say that stick to oem drivers okay. try to stick to oem drivers if you are having trouble with your new update uh, stopping windows update won't stop your drive uh, defender so yeah. so what i showed you right now wmt even though it has disabled windows update your windows defender is still fine and the thing is in, with this video uh, you are entering into the actual world of windows that's the thing windows is not perfect in any way you can't just use it out of the box they keep trying to make it like that and they keep failing so that's the reality welcome to the world of windows it's best to take charge in your hands learn a bit of tinkering so that you have a less troubling time in life okay and with that I don't know, I never did an outro. <laughs>